guys what's going on we're back on with the live stream we're, we're continuing the art stream here okay so yeah I think the the audio should be coming through okay if you guys are having any issues at all with the visuals or the sound or anything like that just definitely let me know okay <clears throat> so we're just uh, picking up from last time I did do some updates to this thing kind of in between so let's just talk about what I've done since the last stream. Okay, so so since the last stream, I've done some cleanup on the torso, and I finalized the design on the shoulder pauldron here. I wonder, does OBS do this thing where it can highlight your mouse? I think that would be <laughs> pretty helpful. Anyway, um. Yeah, so I cleaned up the torso, I added some panel lining to it, which I think it just helps it look more interesting. And I've uh, finalized the shoulder design, so it, uh, to me it looked a little busy at first, but I'm kind of getting used to its appearance, so it's looking okay to me now. And what, have, what else have I done since? Hey Lance, what's going on? Yeah, thanks for thanks for sound sound check, Lance. That, that's really helpful. And since then, I, I did um, extend the legs a little bit. So this, I don't know, the proportions might be looking a little crazy now. But uh, as soon as I start adding like all the boosters and stuff to the legs, and then the giant backpack on this thing, it, the proportions won't look as extreme. And you'll see that um, a lot of uh, the parts they're, they're all in separate layers and stuff. But um, they're not overlapping with each other anymore because I added these layers that I call blockers. There's probably a more professional name for these things. But um, essentially what the blockers do is they'll, they'll block out the layers that are underneath so that you don't get all that overlap and stuff. So, so that way I can keep everything on separate layers and, but not worry about them kind of mushing together. Okay, and I'm probably sure there's a nicer way to organize this, but I have not done it yet, because <laughs> I am still an incredible noob. Okay, so, what are we doing today? Okay, so, generally, I, I go, I, I design the, or I draw out the left side of the body first, so, yeah, I've done the like these main things and I'm gonna move my way downwards so next we're gonna work on uh, this um, the, the waist or the pelvis piece of the mobile suit and depending on how far we get we're gonna go ahead and do the left leg and I normally don't do this but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to not draw the skirt armor first like I'm just gonna do the actual leg and the hip joint and then later on we're gonna add the the skirt armor on in its own independent layer so that should um, that should make the drawing a little more complicated but I think it it'll, it'll help us make sense of the anatomy a little more okay so hmm. okay I think we pretty much have everything we need to get started so let's go ahead and do that and I, I didn't do a warm-up and I'm, I'm actually feeling pretty exhausted right now so uh, we'll, well, we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so right now all of this is on the the general body layer. I, I, I guess for now we can make uh, the skirt or the side skirts invisible. Let's, let's take that off. Okay. Okay, so I think what we'll want to do is let's go ahead and trace over this center piece of the pelvis because we're going to need to retain that and we'll just expand out from there. And uh, my brush, it's still on size 900, let's, let's decrease that. Um, there's actually a, a shortcut on your keyboard, you can use um, the left bracket to change your, your brush size, so that, that's pretty helpful. Like uh, using this uh, interface up, up here, it, it's kind of clumsy and I really don't like it, so yeah, keyboard shortcuts are pretty helpful. Okay, and we're just gonna do a light sketch right now. Um, the geometry is not finalized yet. I still might need to noodle the design a little bit. Okay, okay. 
it's going to stop right here. And then there's going to be a vent. Oh, geez, there's uh, there's some gunk on my on my on my monitor. I probably need to clean it off soon. It's just like particles from when like I ate dinner and stuff. <laughs> okay, so we have that there. We can go ahead and just make this invisible so we can work on this general geometry okay and I can already see that some of this is uneven okay so yeah this looks like a nice horizontal line but I think we'll want to bring it down a little bit and this one's a bit high Just gonna draw out the, the basic shapes right now. Okay, so this this back plane right here is gonna meet with the plane of the abdominals. here okay here's where it's gonna get a little complicated so we want to make sure this is a three-dimensional pelvis so it's gonna have okay so this is where the joints are yeah this plane is where the joints are so it should be where like uh, the hips connect to the pelvis. Hmm. What else do we need? It's it's a little weird on on model kits because the the abdominals they just kind of sit on this flat plate that that's up here. It kind of just like like looks like this. It's just like a a flat plane. It's it's a little bizarre. So I don't know if that's really the best way to handle this. Like we, we could go ahead and do that. back here like the waist section is gonna have a bunch of stuff like on the back of it um, on this design I actually haven't really settled on a design for it yet but uh, let's say there's a, a centerpiece like in the back and it's gonna want to her angle out like this sense hmm. yeah I think generally it's doing what we need to I do spot a problem though. 
So, okay, you see where we put this plane for where the abdominals hit the, the pelvis? So it's actually overlapping with where we put the hip joints right here. It's not high enough. So we actually need to move these higher. And actually, there is a lot of space between the abdominals and the pelvis right now, so I, I think generally we need to move this all upward. Okay, let's go ahead and snag this guy in and move it up. Okay, we're going to use the lasso tool. And this is probably unnecessary because it's just like a, <laughs> a sketchy line, but you know, whatever. Okay, use the V key. It's a shortcut for that. I think generally that's good. Okay, deselect. Okay, wait, what is the short key for the lasso? L, okay. Why couldn't they make it more obvious? <laughs> okay, we're gonna snag this. Okay, V. I have no idea why the V key is the shortcut for move. Like, M actually does, like, you think it'd be M, but it actually selects uh, the selector instead, so, whatever, that's, that's confusing. Okay, there we go. Let's deselect that. Okay, yeah, I'm liking that better. I'm thinking that, um, that interacts with the abdominals better. Um, let's see... Does that do the thing we needed? Yeah, that's working. Although I think it, um, it might be better off if we, if we actually lower this. Just a little more bulk and range. Hey guys, welcome to the live stream. So normally on a on a model kit there is well it, it kind of depends on the kit but like either there's a ball joint right here or there's a peg it will kind of like it'll kind of sit out here as a rod and sometimes there's a ball like right here or something and generally the hip will connect to it like that but like on an actual mobile suit um, it just might be a completely different, more complicated mechanism entirely. But uh, it's it's going to accomplish generally the same thing. So uh, pretty much the, the hip joint right here is going to pretty much need to be the most powerful joint on this mobile suit's body. Like kind of um, in human anatomy, I think your strongest muscle is actually your ass. <laughs> so it kind of needs to do that type of stuff. Hey Lemon, what's going on? Yeah, I think thanks for coming to visit us. I'm glad you found the channel. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure like how you found the channel, so like uh, I, I cover a few different topics, but yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you're here to come hang out with us. Okay, so we're actually gonna leave that plane for now. I was just kind of demonstrating that for you guys. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's go ahead and, and look at a reference. Um, where's all my stuff? Okay, here is uh, the original, or quote-unquote original design. And 
nothing too complicated going on in the pelvis. Yeah, and, and you can see on here the the like proportion wise the pelvis is very short. So I made sure to make it a lot longer on this new drawing. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll I'll just draw it in now and like these like these pieces right here, they kind of help transition between the abdominals and the pelvis a little easier. I'll, I'll probably do those uh, in a little bit. Okay, come on, bring us another shot. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I had a bit of a weird weekend like this week and hold on a second okay so this plane actually I need to make sure I get this geometry right hold on okay so that's the back of it so that's the back we actually need to do this. Okay, I'm really glad I caught that. <laughs> okay, let's erase this. Oh, that could have turned out really badly. <laughs> yeah, make sure you check your shit. Okay, so this has an angle ball right here. Yeah, so I had a bit of a weird weekend on on Friday. I took the day off. I was hanging out with my friend because he was like, a, I guess he took the whole week off for vacation and he wanted to go do some stuff. Um, yeah, all of my friends are married, so they rarely ever have any free time. So like I kind of needed to take the time to go spend some time with him um, yeah so we went to the gun range uh, I was testing out my new gun again like learned a few things about it yeah so a few of the so I have a Chris vector it's basically a pistol and some of the rounds I loaded would not fire when I pulled the trigger and at first we thought that the, the firing pin might have needed some adjustment, but it turned out like, um, well, this is my first gun, so I'm really inexperienced. So uh, I think what was really going on was I, wait, where's my rush? Yeah. So I was not um, setting the bullets far enough back in the magazine so that when the, uh, the pin went off, it wasn't striking or the hammer, it wasn't striking the bullet with enough force to cause it to go off. So, yeah, once we started setting the bullets right, everything was fine. <laughs> so, I'm glad we figured that out and it didn't cost us any extra money. So, that is good. Hmm. Why am I feeling so weird about this? Okay, let's, let's make this a little longer. Yeah, and another dumb thing that happened at the range. Well, there was a lot of dumb things. I'm going <laughs> to talk about all of them. So uh, another dumb thing that happened was... So I have this uh, laser sight mounted to my vector. And as I was firing, the laser fell off my gun. <laughs> so <laughs> it turned out um, as I fired, the, the recoil was causing the screws to come loose. And it loosened to the point where the, the laser came off. Um, thankfully it wasn't broken or anything so I just finished off that magazine and I had to take the gun home and reattach the laser so that was pretty goofy and I'm, I'm glad we kind of caught that in practice because you know let, let's say I'm in a, a live fire situation where like you know where it's actually life and death and that type of crap like if my laser came off in the middle of a gunfight I would be so fucked uh, not not that I can't aim without a laser, but like uh, that that would be really stupid and distracting. So that that was pretty hilarious. 
but yeah, my laser sight came off right in the middle of me shooting. Okay, so... Okay. Yep, that should be about right. Okay. Okay, feeling pretty good about this so far. Yeah, something about this is like bothering me a lot. I'm not even really sure what. Maybe it's just too blocky? I mean, no, we're not going to need to put too much detail here because, like, it's just going to be covered up anyway. But. No, let's just do what makes us happy, I guess. Okay, and here's the, the last dumb thing that happened at the gun range. So, you know how you take these paper targets and you staple them onto uh, the the, well, the rail to, you know, set it out at a distance and stuff. So you have to staple it to this cardboard that's just kind of free hanging on the rail. And it's kind of hard to staple things that way. So I was trying to brace the cardboard as I was stapling my paper target on there. And I ended up stapling my finger. Like, that's one of the main reasons I, I didn't, like, uh, play Gundam with the guys on Friday. Because I hurt my finger uh, from the staple gun. <laughs> This, is, this sounds incredibly stupid as I'm telling it, and, and that's because it was incredibly stupid. So yeah, I, I hurt my, my finger on my left hand. Um, so I, as it turns out, the most dangerous gun at the gun range is actually the staple gun. And <laughs> no, no actual gun injuries were received, but, but staple injuries, they're, they're, I hear they're fairly common at gun ranges. Okay, uh, let's... Oops, I am not on my pen or brush. Okay, let's try to let's try to put in some detail on this pelvis now. Uh, let me double check my reference. I wonder if this full screen thing is trying to kind of bothering me a bit. Okay, I can see it now. Yeah, so one thing that kind of bothered me about this wing Gundam, and I guess it bothered a lot of other people too, is that it's it's like very very like white in terms of color so I am gonna I'm, I am gonna break up the color blocking with some grays on it but I'm, I'm having a hard time figure out like what can be blue like especially on the, 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 the skirt portion okay mm. So this top piece is going to rest like on top of this, it's kind of like that, and I think we can, hmm, can we bring that down or is that going to make it look strange? So on the other design, it actually does one of these things. I don't know how this is happening, but the drawing is kind of looking like a little slanted now. What's going on with that? Yeah, maybe we should fix that up a bit. Yeah, we. Yeah, you want to be careful if, like, for some reason, you just the whole drawing just starts getting slanted. Like, you want to make those corrections fast because. If you draw like me and you kind of make all of your lines by putting them in relation to each other, if you if you fuck up one set of lines, the whole drawing is gonna get up. It's gonna be thrown off eventually. So you gotta be careful about that. Okay. Um. Okay, 
so if we're going to do this dip, like right here, let's see if we can connect the top piece to it. So, yeah, I went to the range on Friday. That was nice. Um, yeah, my friend has, uh, I can't remember the name of his gun, but it it's a, it's an Interpol handgun model. And it, it's, its name is just like all numbers and letters. That's why I can't remember it. It's a CZ. <laughs> and uh, he has a, it's a 40 caliber gun, like handgun. So it, it's got a lot of kick to it. Um yeah, that's why I got my vector instead. Um, a lot less kick than the CZ, and you know it's it's got the it's got the shoulder brace on it and everything. <laughs> so like it's it's very controllable. Like I quite like my vector. Um, oh. hmm. <laughs> I think we need to bring this line a little over. Actually, maybe not. Okay, so something I'm really trying to work on with my mobile suit designs is just making sure everything looks very, like, as three-dimensional as possible. And that is, you want to make sure that things just don't look flat. And a good example is if we scroll up here to the shoulder. So if, if you look here, you'll rarely see that there's uh, there's an angle or a line on any of these forms that like is just like one line by itself. It's kind of like a, like right here. It's backed up by this line right here. So this is gonna give this uh, this piece of armor here. It's gonna give it a little bit of depth. So I want to make sure that the armor looks like it has some heft some thickness to it so that it's actually gonna block stuff and I think that that's really the level of detail I kind of want in my mechanical designs I want the armor to feel armory so okay mm. all right but we we don't need to jump into that level of detail yet we're still just trying to figure out the pelvis right here okay so I think I can fix this down here. So it's supposed to be hexagonal, but I guess when I was sketching this out, it got rounded like somehow. How oh, the crap did I do that? <laughs> All right, let's, let's go ahead and fix that up. Yeah, so I know it's just me talking to myself right now. Oh, uh, MD says my volume is a bit lower than my Monster Hunter videos. Yeah, I can. It's probably because I'm. I don't have my mic very close to my face. Uh, let me see if I can move it. Um, if. Yeah, if that helps, uh, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I can try to adjust it again for you guys. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So the the volume might sound a little different because I'm I'm live streaming using OBS right now, like a. Like normally on my other videos, they're they're like pre-recorded, and I I do the, I do commentary by recording in Audacity, so I have a lot more control over volume and stuff like that. And then when I'm live streaming, I'm live streaming using the Elgato. So there's a difference also. Okay. Yeah. So these lines aren't quite parallel. Can we bring this line down a little more? Oops. Oh, Jesus. Okay, eraser. Okay. Mm. do is 
I'm actually gonna do this. Here, add a bit more depth up top as well. Okay, let's let's draw in more of the vent. Hmm. Okay, something about this is bothering me. So if you guys look here, these lines, they're not parallel with each other. And that is, you know, it can be non-desirable or you can actually want that. Kind of depends on what you're going for. Uh, Looks like on this it should be parallel. Hmm. Wait a second. Hmm. Okay, I guess we can change the angle on that. Mostly, mostly parallel. Yeah, I know this is just me like talking to myself. So if you guys have any questions or comments, just feel free to leave a comment, and we can just talk about whatever. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. I'm like seeing a lot of new faces here, I'm really glad you've come to hang out with us. Okay. Mm. vent like panel right here to kind of redirect the gas okay I, th I think that'll be good enough for now okay so there are some line details like this up here Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really, the lines are like really, really sketchy today. <laughs> okay. I think this one's bothering me. We should give it a bit more depth. Okay, and I think... This line technically doesn't come down far enough. So there. Wait, what is that? What did this? <laughs> Why is there like a random dot down there? Weird. Okay. Okay, I think we we got that general shape. So let's go ahead and keep going. Yeah, MD is saying I I had some shots <laughs> before the stream. That's why my lines aren't straight. Well, like my my lines are like really ever very straight. Um, I'm just a very sketchy drawer because I'm not talented. <laughs> uh, that's that's why. But um, yeah, what is what is the straightest line I can draw? I don't know. Uh, that's. <laughs> That's okay, but yeah, I, I am just human, so there we go. Yeah, I don't know. Is it homophobic to draw straight lines? Yeah, we, we have this joke in my family. Um, so my older sister is gay. Like, I, I love her very much. And she has this joke that kind of runs in our family. So whenever we're giving driving directions... Like, we never say go straight right here. Uh, we say go forward because uh, lesbians cannot go straight. <laughs> and, like, uh, I, I don't know. I've, that's always, like, tickled me very much. So it's it's pretty cool that, you know, I can joke about that type of stuff with my sister. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. 
Okay, we're gonna. I think we're gonna bring this line down a little bit. Okay, and this plane right here, like a lot of it's gonna get covered up when I make, um, when I put on the, the the skirt armor, like you know the piece that goes in front of your thigh. So uh, we're, we're not gonna be worried too much like about this. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in these details here. Excuse me. I, I just had my lunch, it was pretty heavy. Yeah, so I, I cooked some soup like over the weekend and I've I've had nothing but soup over the weekend, so I am just my body is just craving some solid food right now, so I, I uh, I guess for dinner I'll probably eat something like really solid. Yeah, those people who draw circles perfectly freehand, those guys are freaks, dude. <laughs> like especially in like Full Metal Alchemist, like how the crap. Like uh, I'm actually pretty awful with circles. I mean, I, I mean, I do okay. Uh oh god. Yeah, my my circles are they're just like rounded squares. Um, yeah, not great. Oh, that's not that's really no. Nope. Yeah, we're we're gonna stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, not great. Yeah, so my drawing style it tends to just be like just uh, putting out general shapes. I mean, I mean, I guess I'm doing this right now and just slowly adjusting it a million jillion times until it looks right. So, <laughs> like, yeah, it's it usually starts off like really sketchy like this and then, you know, end product, it, it starts looking cleaner and more complicated. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. Uh, okay, so this line right here, like, I should probably remove it so I can work on this top piece, but this is actually going to be a really important line when dealing with uh, how the abdominals join with uh, the pelvis later on, so I think I'm going to leave it for now. It's kind of a, an important reference line. <laughs> uh, best girl Selkie says, uh, "Hey, everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, I, I I am pretty tired right now. Wait, that's not the eraser. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm having kind of a weird weekend. Like I hung out with my friend." I'm probably tired because I've just been like eating soup <laughs> like all weekend. <laughs> yeah, I, I need more solid food. And I, I guess there's been a lot of drama online. That's uh, that's not great. Oh, and um, I don't know if you guys saw, but like I I uh, released a review of Gundam Narrative, and for some reason, making that review, it took like I think like four hours on one night, and then like six hours the next day so that was like 10 hours at work it's it's nuts uh but yeah that that, that movie stole so much of my life <laughs> it was like well in my opinion like it was a bad movie and then the review for the bad movie took like 10 hours that's just stupid uh okay lance says uh sorry zero you had to go for a bit this old cat was acting really weird so uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what, what you missed, Lance. Like, uh, not much was going on. I was just talking about my weekend and stuff. Yeah, I hope your cat's okay. Uh, yeah, sorry, guys. I know, like, if you're just tuning into the live stream right now, you just see this sketchy pelvis. Like, what the hell is that? A bunch of blocks? And <laughs> here's the rest of the drawing. So, yeah, like, uh, I, I guess once in a while I gotta zoom out so you guys know what's going on. But, um... Yeah, so eventually we're gonna try to cover like as much ground as that. Uh, so the pelvis, we're just kind of replacing what we had kind of lightly sketched in before. And yeah, 
so I think it's it's going pretty okay, like so far. Okay, let's let's hide that. Okay, I'm getting a bit of a weird feeling about this line for some reason. Am I zoomed in way too far? This is going to be like really weird for you guys. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I have very, very bad vision. Like, very bad. So I have to lean in like just a few inches away from the monitor to see what the fuck I'm doing. So if uh, if I have to zoom in really, really far and it, it hurts your guys' eyes, I'm very sorry. But Okay, so we're going to lower this line a little bit. There. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a little better about that. Okay, so we have the general shape of this guy, and I'm I'm okay with that. So let's let's move on from there. Okay, let's save our shit. Okay, Control S. Okay, so um, I think what we can do from here is we can add some stuff to kind of marry the uh, the abdominals and the pelvis together. Okay, so we're actually gonna do that on on the core layer. That's where my abdominals are. Okay, so we're on the core. Yeah, MD, my my eyes are so bad. I um, I've been I've probably needed glasses since high school, but I just never got them because. No, I'm ugly enough. <laughs> like, how much more do you want to put on one human being? <laughs> But like, I guess now that I'm so old, like being beautiful doesn't even really matter. So, yeah, maybe I'll I'll see a doctor soon. And I I really don't want to get contact lenses because like I already like I already fidget with my eyes and all that stuff like enough. I can't imagine having to stick like glass on my eye. That would be really stupid. But um, anyway, let's continue with the drawing. Okay. Uh, okay, adding to the abdominals. Okay, and we're just lightly sketching, so it doesn't really matter like too much. Okay. Just gotta make sure it's got some depth to it. Okay, so it should go out about this far on this side, I think. Mm. Something feels strange about that. Yeah, and unfortunately there's I guess there's a lot of science to drawing. Unfortunately, I don't know the science. I'm not formally trained. So a lot of how I have to draw is I just draw a line and then I just look at it and see how it makes me feel. <laughs> and I, like from there, I'll just have to readjust the line or something. Yeah, so right now I am, I'm kind of looking at the symmetry between these two sides. Like here's the center line. And so, I think that's mostly right for right now. Okay, so we can erase these lines. Okay, is this on pen? There we go. Okay, so this is going to do about that. Okay, and there is something that's bothering me about this a little bit. Okay, so let me zoom out a bit so I can kind of explain this. Okay, where's the rest of the body? Okay. Okay, so here's the abdominal section. Like Gundams, they 
I don't know, it, the style kind of changes between designers, but like uh, a lot of Kotoki's and Okawara's designs, they have like this top section and this bottom section for the abdominal right here. And this bottom one is, for me, it's a, it's a little long, so I might be able to add some geometry right here to kind of even it out or shorten it, something like that. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta I got keep thinking about it. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna try not to OCD <laughs> like the this to death while I'm on the live stream. I'm just trying to keep you guys entertained, like while I'm working on this at the same time. Um, okay, what can we do from here? Okay, so we have the pelvis section in place. Uh, okay, so this back piece of the pelvis is actually... Now that I've finished out more of the pelvis, it's not quite right. So let, let's go ahead and fix that first. Okay, pelvis section. Like, uh, you gotta make sure you're on the right layer. <laughs> or else you're gonna be kicking yourself later. later. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, uh, eraser. Okay, let's fix this up a bit. Ooh. Okay, so... Yeah, this is just the, the center piece like, of it. It's kind of a kind of a tail piece. I'm not really too keen on how I'm gonna do the angle yet. Okay, is do I need to move this line? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that'll be okay for now. Okay. So you see this block right here, this is where the the hip joint is going to attach to the pelvis. So this plane is where we're gonna need to be very careful. We do not want to screw that up. Okay, I think I need to lower this line a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm worried about getting glasses because, like, I'm still trying to figure out how to get married. And, <laughs> and, like, if I'm... I'm worried about the kind of woman I'll attract if I'm looking like her father. Because, <laughs> you know, I want somebody that, like, I can, like, work with, you know, like, a, like two equals. But if she's treating me like daddy, then... That's just like a big kid I gotta take care of, you know, that's that's gonna be a bunch of bullshit. I'm not really into that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm okay with this for now. Um, I know the, the geometry is still very basic. But I will... Hold on, why did, why did I do that? Yeah, so I'll, I'll go out and make this look cooler later. We're, we're just worried about our, our regular shit. Okay, so we've got our, our pelvis piece in. So from here, let's, let's work on the left leg. Okay, sorry, I, I am zoomed out a lot because like, I'm actually leaned into the monitor really close, so I gotta zoom out a bunch. Okay. Okay, one thing one thing artists uh, have to be careful with the thighs on a Gundam is that normally they're hidden by the skirt armor, so people forget to make them three-dimensional. They have to have some depth to them. Uh, so you'll see here that this uh, the thigh is actually reaching out like all the way back here. 
and it's gonna overlap a lot with a lot of the the stuff we've already done and you know that's okay that's actually desirable because that's actually what it should do uh, best girl <laughs> best girl selkie says I mean glasses won't make you look that old I think you underestimate <laughs> it's like how awful I can look Ugh. okay hmm Look, I am so old that I bought glasses for my dad on Amazon because he asked me to. And he didn't like the style of the glasses. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I guess um, I inherited my blindness like a very, very blind family. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my youngest sister, she actually has glasses. Um, she got them because like she actually couldn't see the blackboard like while she was in class. Like, she, she couldn't tell the difference between an equal sign and a uh, subtraction sign. So that's uh, that's how we figured out everyone was blind. <laughs> okay, so... Um, how are we going to do this? I have a bunch of crap here. Okay, let's add a... Let's add a new layer. All this legs. Uh, Natty Boomko is asking, do you use a mouse or an e pen thing? Um, so when I'm drawing, like uh, making like pen strokes and stuff, I'm using a tablet monitor. So it, the, there is like a like a pen stylus thing I have. But when I'm doing like menu stuff, I'm actually using my mouse. Like uh, the stylus can do the mouse stuff too, but I'm, I'm just too used to it. And especially when I'm like switching between windows and stuff, like uh, the mouse helps. Yeah, um, it's it's pretty unprofessional, but <laughs> yeah, usually you should just use the stylus. Yeah, MD recommends frameless glasses. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I I've also had people recommend LASIK to me, which I think is probably a good idea. But the problem is, I live by myself, and LASIK is going to disable your vision for a little while. And like, I so I it makes me really hesitant to have any form of surgery, because if I just keel over, <laughs> there'll there'll be nobody to help me. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be a lot, a lot of trouble. Okay, so what can we do here? So we're on the the legs layer. So let's yeah, let's sketch over this thigh real fast, and we'll 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 move on from there. Okay, we got our brush going. Sorry, I just bumped the mic. Okay, and I know you guys can't see what the fuck is going on in this, but I can I can see all the old lines I made. So Okay, so there's the hip joint. Okay, here's the thigh. The stylus is squeaking as I'm drawing in this line. That's really annoying. Okay, so we can hide this layer now. Hey Panzer, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so got our leg in.
Okay, so this hip block up here. So it was just a square <laughs> like earlier, but we're gonna need to adjust that like a lot. Yeah, like the like on the pelvis layer, we kind of connect by like a section like right there. And you kind of want to make the connection point as as fucking beefy as possible as possible because, like like I said before, this has to be the strongest joint in the body, or else you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Okay, back on legs. Okay. Uh, I'm sure this is looking like crazy weird like to all of you guys right now. So I'm I'm not too sh sure what I want to do with the the design on the legs right now. Cuz normally like the thighs is something just that's it's just completely ignored by most mechanical designers. They usually don't put a lot of work into it. But when it does look nice, it can look pretty special. And it's, it's very rare you see something with nice thighs. <laughs> uh, like on a mobile suit, I mean. <laughs> and there aren't really a lot of mobile suits where I actually like their thighs. Um, like for instance on... What was it? Zero? Like, this thing has really, really good parts, like, on it. I don't know if there's, if there's going to be a picture that actually shows that off. Yeah, actually, I have one of these model kits. But, um, it's kind of boxed up right now. Yeah, so I don't know how well you can see this, but... Yeah, so this has a pretty awesome amount of armor separation, and you can see all, all the white parts that are two-toned, so that it, it makes it look really nice and uh, kind of elevated and sophisticated. So you can see on the on the thigh piece here, it's it's fairly geometric, but uh, the hexagonal like angles on it, it kind of makes it a uh, slightly more organic. So. It kind of separates uh, this front armor piece from the back. And I don't know if I want to make... Um, I don't know if I want to make my Wing Gundam quite this complicated, because, like, it's... It's just the first mobile suit used by the pilot in the story that I'm writing. And, you know, I guess I'm, I'm just kind of stating that there is a mid-season upgrade, so I kind of want the, the second thing to look cooler. Um, yeah, we can do this a little bit. Yeah, but, yeah, the front piece, it, it isn't, like, all that complicated. But we can kind of get a similar thing going on. Yeah, so, you see that the, the armor, it does come up fairly high, and it actually overlaps with the joint. So... Like right now on our drawing, we have um, what's going on here. Like the, we have the joint, like just showing. So we could choose to put the armor over it. Hold on, I seem to have some notifications. Let me check that real fast. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Best Girl Selkie is asking, uh, why do they build robots with angel wings? They'll look cool, but still. Uh, that is a very good question, Best Girl um, Selkie. I'm not really sure how to re refer to you, but... Um, okay, so, first of all, this is the Wing Zero Custom from Endless Waltz. 
and it's the high resolution like version I'm not really sure who did this mechanical design but I this is the original one by Hajime Kotoki and it was redesigned by somebody I, I don't quite know who I, I need to double check but um, well like there's no real reason for the wings to look like angel wings but I've actually written an essay um, a few years ago maybe a decade ago where I kind of discuss um, like just engineering wise why you would want wings that are like this and the reason is for a concept uh, known as thrust vectoring so you'll you'll see this concept if you look at um, jet fighters and things like that so the, f the very first um, jet planes they just had like jet thrusters just fixed on the plane and they had to turn by like uh, using their wings and stuff like that and and it was um, it was quite difficult to control and um, so like later jet designs what they did is they added um, they added jet thrusters that can actually you can point to the direction of the jet and so this gave you like much much better man maneuverability so with the wing zero right here like um you know you, c you can't really see it because they're so small and streamlined but there are jets like just just kind of built into all the edges of the wings and if you have this model kit like you know the articulation on these wings is insane you can basically take this wing right here and you can point it in any direction like almost 720 degrees in 3d space you can point in any direction so this design what it does with the wings is it takes the concept of thrust vectoring like it just kicks it to 11 you can you can boost in any direction and you this thing has like six wings or something they can all do it so you have a tremendous amount of mobility when you're flying so it's uh it's, it's pretty damn awesome like in my opinion and it looks cool <laughs> so <laughs> yeah that's the only reason for it okay uh yeah so that's um that's the wing zero for you okay so let's get back to the drawing okay i think what i'm gonna do okay where's my brush okay back to the pen okay pen mode is i'm going to Let's go ahead and bring the thigh armor up. It doesn't need to be all that high because, you know, like there's going to be a piece of skirt armor here overlapping with it. Okay, and we got to make sure we're, we're parallel with this line down here. go and I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add a let's add a blocker layer so that we don't have all this crazy overlapping shit going on just so like I like I can kind of track what I'm doing but I'm just adding this so you guys can see what I'm doing okay blocker pelvis. okay and the blocker has to go over the, the pelvis layer okay so let's switch over to white Okay, and we're gonna just maybe I should increase the brush size. Hold on. Okay, and this is sort of like erasing the pelvis layer. Yeah, so that way the the lines here don't interfere with what we're drawing on top and we can kind of see more clearly what we're doing okay doki okay i guess that line we're gonna get rid of it later okay hopefully that makes sense there we go 
Yeah, that that way we can see what we're doing. Okay, let's keep working on the legs. Okay, select black. Let's reset our brush size to six. Mm, Q Bolt is asking, do you think Turney would look good with angel wings? Um, I'm not sure, and honestly, I'm not too keen on the Turney's design because um, I haven't watched the show. Usually, I have to watch uh, something moving around before I can decide if I like it or not. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure there's a ton of people who either did a kit bash of that. Or they took some model kits and just put some wings on the Trinae. Or I'm sure there's a ton of people who did a Franken design. So Frankens are... Eh, it's kind of it's kind of unusual conceptually. Uh, so a Franken is essentially uh, people who... What the fuck? No, no. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, I'm, I'm still on a racer. Oof. That was bad. Okay, sorry, I'm just, I'm cleaning up the blocker a little bit. Okay, legs. So, Frankens are where you, um, so let's say you're a normal person and you can't draw <laughs> Gundam, because, you know, drawing mobile suits is really fucking difficult. But there's plenty of other people, and, you know, there's official line art for mobile suits and stuff like that. So, you, let's say you want to modify a design. So, um, so using Photoshop is a lot easier than drawing a mobile suit yourself. So, what these uh, Franken artists will do is they'll take other people's uh, drawings, and they'll kind of Photoshop them together to mix and match parts. And they'll come up with a new design like that. Like, um, a lot of that was happening... Um, kind of back in the 2000s and stuff like I hung out with a lot of those people very cool people um, yeah I think uh, I had some friends like Red Zaku and Torino and like a bunch of other guys who did it they were very good at it like um, let me see if I can find you an example of one like there's there's one I did and I, I didn't do a lot of Frankens because uh, because I can draw, <laughs> you know, so I kind of just did the Franken as a joke. Uh, where is it? Oops, you're looking at all my old shitty art. <laughs> Hold on, here, here's an example. This is this is really stupid. So, <laughs> so this is a Franken of um, I took uh, Kunio Okawara's line art of uh, the Strike Freedom and the Wing Zero. And I just spliced them together vertically. Like, this is um, kind of a joke example of a Franken. And, like, here's the hyper mode. It has the, the sombrero from the Spike Gundam. What, was that what it's called? Yeah, so this is an example of a Franken. And... I'm sure I can actually Google some like better examples for you guys. Oops. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Damn it, Google, you piece of shit. Mm. Yeah, some of these are examples like uh, I don't know who these are by. Oh, E08. Yeah, he's he's one of my old friends too. So this is not coming out very clearly because of Google, but this is a Franken of... Looks like it's got some Gundam X parts and then G Savior parts. So that yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I guess essentially Gundam Breaker is is just Franken Gundaming. <laughs> like, uh, that, that's pretty much what it is. And it's kind of similar to the concept of kit bashing. And... Now here's a person. Oh yeah, Nightwing. Yeah, he's one of my old friends too. So some some people will go as far as like after they've um, kind of kit bashed or franken together the design, they'll draw, they'll trace over the lines to actually make it an original drawing. So some people will go that far. So yeah, like uh, that's kind of how things were back in the day. But yeah, I didn't do like very much of this. Anyway, there you go. I I'm not even sure how we got on this topic. 
Oh yeah, um, turn A with wing zero wings. Let's see. Okay, I'm sure a lot of this would be the butterfly wings. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw somebody did this Franken somewhere, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I can't find it right now. What the flying crap? Okay, <laughs> that's crazy weird. Yeah, I don't know what's with this, but a lot of designs are like using swords as wings and wings as swords, and I don't know. Like, um, I'm kind of of the of the school of thought that if one thing does a lot of things, it doesn't do any of those things very well. So, yeah, I, I kind of don't like stuff like that. But wow, this is pretty nice. Interesting. I wonder what he's painting it because he's um he's kind of putting like a, a lot of putty and stuff over this guy. Anyway, I don't know shit about model kits, so <laughs> there we go. Hey, back to the drawing. Okay. Um, what were we doing? Hmm. Okay, more on the legs layer. Yeah, and I'm <clears throat> I'm not too worried about the thighs right now. Like we can well, what's what's my mouse doing? Yeah, we can add in more detail and geometry later. Hmm. Maybe we can Bring this out forward a little bit. And I'm not finalized on this geometry. I may change it later. Ugh, I'm feeling like really hungry right now. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm like really distracted. Uh, Let's just leave it like that for now. Here's something we might want to do. Uh, so I think what I'll do is I'm gonna move this out a little bit, maybe a little down, like just to give this leg um, a little bit more articulation. Like you gotta make sure your parts, they kind of have space between them so that when they move around, they're able to get past each other without interfering with each other. And I know that doesn't sound very important to you guys because it's just a drawing, but I am doing my best to kind of treat this like if we were to actually build this thing, like would it work? <laughs> and I know we're not gonna do that, but um, I just wanna make sure it looks as good as possible. Okay. Okay, sorry, I need to reset my brush stuff. Six. Okay. Okay, there we go. I am fairly happy with that. It's looking good so far. Okay, let's uh let's add more leg onto this guy. Okay, so we're going to pull up our general body thing again. Uh, 
Okay, and what I like to do is um, I don't like to draw in this joint right away. I kind of want um, the two sections, like uh, like like up here. I kind of need the two sections that are, will be joined by the joint, and then I'll put in the joint later on. Um, okay. Okay, Kubo asked, do you think they, uh, they'll put the Gem 3 or Zeta Gundam in GBO2? Well, I don't know if you know this, Kubo, but the Gem 3 was in the beta for GBO2. So we know it's already in the game. It just hasn't been scheduled yet. But we know, like, people actually used it. And I used it a little bit. I just didn't post my footage of it because I was really awful <laughs> with the Gem 3. But um, yeah, the Gym 3, it it had a beam rifle that stunned instantly without charging, and it had large missiles, and it had some smaller missiles, it had a beam saber, and I, I can't remember if it could dodge roll or not. And it, it was fairly good in space, but um, I was kind of awful with it, but yeah, it, it's there, it, it just hasn't been scheduled yet. They're probably going to release almost... Um, everything that was in the Gundam Battle Operation 1 roster first and then they'll start adding later stuff um, as for the Zeta Gundam uh, I mean they they probably will given the the Gym 3 is in the game I just don't know if they'll do transformation mechanics um, maybe they'll have it only transform in space if you press the touch uh, press the touchpad um, yeah, I don't know. Hold on. Oh, God, I'm on a racer. I'm such an idiot. Hey, brush. Okay, now we're actually drawing. <laughs> okay, and... This, uh, this calf part I'm gonna be kind of careful about because... Um, on the on this design, like for my wing Gundam, the the calf part has a ton of stuff like attached to it, like a lot of stuff. Ugh, God, I wish my stylus would not squeak like that. Okay. Um. Alright, thanks MD. Yeah, it was really nice uh, having you come by to hang out with us. Yeah, Qbolt says, uh, yeah, he used it a lot. It was pretty good for 400 costs and it did have dodge dash. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure because, you know, I only used it in combat and so much crazy shit was going on. I, I, I really couldn't see for sure. And even then, like, um... It, when it did its side roll, it didn't have the same animation as other mobile suits, so it was kind of hard to tell. Uh, Sushiota says he wants the Hazel line for space. Ooh, I, I really like the Hazels. Like, um, they are some chunky boys, but <laughs> yeah, I, I really like them. They're pretty cool. Hopefully, um, so the, the Hazel, it has these um, these little grabby arms like uh, on its elbows, like kind of like the, the GPO-3. Like, I hope they let you use those in melee. That would be really goofy, and, and I would really like that. And and possibly like it would be pretty useful. Okay. All right. So we got the the calf section and the sh the shin section. Not too many S sounds. It's kind of freaking me out here. Okay, so let's look at our reference again. My old drawing. This is this the same thing. Okay, so on this calf section, the, the inside isn't really doing anything. But the outside has these vents on it. And I guess I didn't do a very good job of showing that with the angle here. Where else can we see that? Well, this this kind of doesn't really show it well either. Hold on. 
here. This one. Let's look at. Oh, that's uh. I'm pressing the wrong fucking button. I was using the Windows button. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, that's fun. Okay, so here you can see the the shin armor actually comes out a little forward from the knee armor and connected to the calf you have this whole like giant thruster vent thing kind of, kind of. what else has something similar to this I guess the Gundam Alex did the new Gundam have that I don't quite remember but yeah this thing has a ton of thrusters on its legs so yeah we gotta make sure we have that in place it looks like I, I didn't really do anything too special with the, the knee or this calf section but um I'm sure we can do something more interesting yeah, something I've been really interested in is uh, armor separation, um, like on joints. So it's it's done a little weirdly on the wing Gundams. So I don't I don't know if I have any good examples of that. Uh, <laughs> this is not what I meant. Okay, so I guess you got some of that going on. Um, well, I guess people aren't really tagging their pictures with knee armor. Oh, here's an example. <clears throat> okay, this is actually the Shinanju Stein, I think. Okay, so, funnily enough, the Shinanju Stein, it has fairly similar legs to my Wing Gundam. So, in a lot of really old model kits, this shin piece, it just kind of stays in place, and then the whole knee joint gets exposed when the knee is bent. But on this uh, knee separation for the Shinanju Stein, like uh, the knee armor actually stays on the knee, and then, you know, like uh, the rest of the lower leg gets separated. So, in terms of protecting your mobile suit, this makes a lot more sense. It just looks a little goofy sometimes, so... <laughs> I don't know, I'll, I'll have to think about it. Oh, our Q-Bolt is asking about the Hazel. So, the Hazel is... I think it's the protagonist mobile suit in Advance of Zeta. Oh, that's... this is the Hazel. Yeah, so it's basically a Gundam Mark II with a bunch of chunky shit attached to it. And you can attach all kinds of shit to it. Like, what? what? Why is this so small? Anyway, um, this is the big arm unit. And I forget what this rifle is called. It's, it's a some sort of long beam rifle. And this is actually my favorite mobile suit from Advance of Zeta. Yeah, this is... Wait, is this the gap lamp? It looks a little different. This might not be the this might not be the gap lamp. It has the shoulders. But yeah, this this one's pretty cool. I I don't know if I've seen that. Why why are these pictures so small? <laughs> this is fucking stupid. But yeah, Advanced Seda is um, pretty interesting, if not awesome. Like there's a lot of really cool mechanical design and concepts. Uh, most of them just is just like attack like stapling extra parts to your mobile suits, but um, it's got some really badass uh, mobile suits and mobile armors in them. Okay, here's a bigger version of it. What is this thing? Uh, looks like it might transform. Oh, the fiber two. Yeah, so this is the fiber one. This is actually the gap plant with a mobile armor attached to it. Like that was my favorite thing, but. I think Advance of Zeta actually got some sequels, and so there's a lot of new designs I haven't really kept up with. So I, yeah, I need to go back and check that stuff out. Yeah, but Advance of Zeta is pretty cool. Uh, okay, well, there's that. Okay, uh, back to the drawing. Okay, so we can remove... Where the hell is it? General body? There we go. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, and this is going to be a, a little tough for me because like on my old drawing, I think the, the, the calf sections, they're just round. Like, nothing, nothing too special going on with it. Yeah, and then the, the calf section on this guy is like, <laughs> it's got some crazy ass geometry on it. Holy shit. Uh, so, I think what I'll do now is I'll just hammer out the general shape and I'll, I'll, I'll worry about the geometry later. But yeah, I really like the leg sections on this model kit. It's got uh, a lot of depth, uh, a lot of layers and armor separation to it. Like, very, very beautiful. Okay. Uh, okay, brush. God, what time is it right now? 3.30. God damn. Okay, uh... I think in a, a little while I'll probably quit, but maybe let's let's see if we can finish out this leg, and like maybe we'll stop like after that. Okay, uh, let's zoom in on the leg. Okay, we're just gonna do some general geometry. Okay, gotta center this. <laughs> okay, uh, got our brush on. far out. Oh, what's going on with my eraser? I think when I was over here, I changed the size of the eraser. Where was it before? 30? Okay. Brush, eraser. There we go. Ooh. Okay, I think we need a fix. We gotta make sure these two lines are parallel. Because if they're not, your geometry is fucked up. <laughs> so, yeah, I think um, no matter how the leg bends, this line and this line on these two parts, they always have to be parallel essentially. Okay, so. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's add in, let's add in the thruster, like, like we, we have to be careful with this thruster because it's, it could potentially be really big and make the, the leg feel like really huge, but I kind of, like, like I discussed on the last stream, I kind of want to make sure that my mobile suits feel like fast and nimble, like and powerful at the same time. So we have to be very careful in how we proportion things. Okay, I forgot how far this went down. Let me, let me double check my reference. Where is it? This one? Okay, so it actually just kind of... It just kind of overtakes this ankle armor. Alright, I can do that. Oh wait, um, hold on, so you can see right here that my ankle armor is going to go right here, it's actually below the, the shin section, hmm, so I'll have to be very very careful about that. General body. Okay, well, let, let's keep going. Okay. 
Okay, so some hexagonal lines. I fucking love hexagonal angles. I, I don't really know why. Um, it might be a Kotoki thing. <laughs> yeah, and weirdly enough, um, if you meet some amateur mechanical designers, like you'll see that they all come from basically different schools of mechanical designers. Like you'll see people come from like when like Okawara's age, like when he was like uh, the big dog, and their designs, they they tend to have like uh, thicker torsos and and stuff like that and really big shoulder parts and um, I'm in the Kotoki stage so like uh, I, I really like um, hexagonal angles and kind of really long legs and stuff like that although I think my uh, my favorite mechanical designer isn't Kotoki it's actually um, Takayuki Yanase like so Takayuki style is it's fairly similar to Kotoki's but his um, his angles are a lot softer and more organic. Um, so much detail um, in his geometry. I really love Yanase's work. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Okay, so yeah, I might be making this a little large. Yeah, this is probably too fucking big. Let's, let's scale it back a little bit. Yeah, I gotta remember, this is just the front plane of the thruster. So if I make it too large, it's just gonna be fucking nutty looking. Okay, so this will, this will connect right here. You know what, what, what am I doing? Sorry. What's going on? Okay, so I I'm right-handed, so there's only like so many ways I can draw a line naturally. So if you find that's happening, a normal person would rotate the piece of paper, <laughs> and you can do that digitally too. So here we go. We rotated our shit. There we go. That's a lot easier. <laughs> okay, so this would technically some of that okay I think we can actually erase that we gotta make sure this has some depth to it okay okay the R is the rotate short key okay, I'm gonna hit R escape I should normalize it again Okay, Qbolt says, I know this is out of nowhere, but do you watch fan-made Gundam series? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that, because, like, what is a fan-made Gundam series? And, well, I, I do watch Gundam, but, you know, the official release is from, from Sunrise. Like, do you mean, do I read fan fiction? Because as far as I can tell, nobody has animated their own Gundam yet. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, let's do that right here. <clears throat> oh, sorry guys. We're just gonna leave that line right there as a reference because we want to know how deep uh, this shape for the shin piece is. So we don't want to get rid of that line yet. Okay, let's let's zoom out and check our shit. Okay, uh, looking pretty cool so far. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, so okay, here's here's something I have to check. So 
the the inner leg it has it has another piece right there and I need to double check how it does exactly yeah this this looks really clumsy <laughs> I'm probably gonna redo that a little bit <clears throat> but I think at the time when I was designing this I think it was um, supposed to be very similar to the excess's legs so we can maybe we should go reference that instead that might make more sense Okay. Yeah, the the excess has pretty awesome leg design. Uh, it is kind of hard to see. Is it just me or is that like a, an emoji <laughs> like right there? Okay, here we go. Okay, so the excess like uh it's got these vents going down at this angle, but I think I was trying to do like this guy like right here. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. Wait a second. Um, I forgot to actually look at the thing I was trying to reference. I'm so stupid. Okay, so how the fuck does the ankle armor work on this guy? So, it looks like it's just underneath the jet, and then this one is down here. Yeah, I really didn't do very good detail on this old drawing. <laughs> okay, that's why we're redrawing it, because I'm an idiot. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> okay, clear my throat. Yeah, Cubo, if you can kind of clarify your question for me, I think that would really help me out. I'm trying to... I want to figure out what you're trying to ask me. Okay, uh, leg armor. Okay, so. What was this thing doing? That is an eraser. <laughs> there we go, pin mode. Okay, so. Do this. Can make that come out like that. Does that makes sense. Yeah, I know it looks a little weird right now, but <clears throat> yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll have to. I'll have to reference the other leg whenever I get to that, but I think um, that's pretty all right for right now. Uh. <clears throat> okay, now this guy. Okay, so. Here's the thing with this, so if this is actually like two-dimensional, it shouldn't just, or three-dimensional, I should say, it should, uh, it shouldn't just be pointy at the end like that. Yeah, this, <clears throat> this line angle is kind of tough for my right-handedness, but, okay, hopefully you guys see what I mean. There we go. Okay, this shouldn't be... Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so what we are trying to do earlier was... I'm going to rotate the canvas again. Oops. Okay, yeah, space bar is the, the shortcut to grab and move. Okay, I'm going to be very careful with this line. Yeah, we want to make it just really light. I think later on we can just probably take care of it with shading or something like that. Brush. Okay. 
Okay, and <clears throat> we might even want to do like a little bit of armor, like separation right here. Uh, let me do that. I guess if we're doing that, we're going to erase this line too. Uh, that looks a little goofy to me, but I'll I'll, I'll go in and fix it later. So it, it's kind of hard to get designs down, like specifically while <clears throat> you know you're just doodling. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Here's what Qbolt was asking. Uh, he says, "Sorry, English is the worst." <laughs> I, I meant like. Uh, Fan, but using other Gundam suits in a stop motion or other means of animation. Uh, yeah, um, hmm. It's hard to say because there really aren't a lot of people who do stuff like that. <clears throat> like, uh, back in the day, like, he, he took all his videos down, but I bet, let's see if he, oops. I thought we were incognito. Now, yeah, now you guys know like all the shit I watch. <laughs> yeah, black in the back, back in the day. Did I just see black in the day? Oh, sorry, just like forty and shit going on. Okay, okay, gun gun. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So there used to be this stop motion animator uh, named Plamu, and he took down all of his shit. It, there might have been some zeros in there or something. Yeah, but yeah, he he took his stuff down. It's not there anymore. Um, yeah, there's like I know Counter. He's been around for like a really long time. Like he did, like he did this one. Yeah, so this one's pretty cool. I'm just gonna fast forward like through this so I don't any copyright bullshit going on for my live stream oops yeah so he does pretty good Gundam stop motion but he uh, he doesn't really do Gundam like anymore yeah so just, just check out his channel for like that stuff and yeah he so counter is so skilled at this that like people just started hiring him professionally to do commercials but since then, um, I guess he hasn't had time to really work on stuff that he cares about and you know stuff that we care about. But, uh, yeah, that stuff's pretty cool. Um, stop motion is extremely time consuming though. Otherwise, um, yeah, I, I, I can't say I follow this very often. Oh, I, I love this one. You guys should watch this, it, it's great. Uh, yeah, so that, that's that's really all I know about Gundam animation. Like, but uh, animating Gundam is very challenging because, like, just look at me here. It's hard enough just to draw a Gundam. Imagine how difficult it is to get this thing to move around and stuff like that. <coughs> okay, Cubot is asking, ever heard of Raven Flow? Um, I actually have not heard of that person. Maybe I'll I'll check them out. Uh, so hopefully they, they, they do good stuff. Okay, so where are we right now? Okay, so we got the thigh, we got the sh the calf and the shin. There's no knee armor on here yet. Uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's work on the ankle, the ankle armor and the ankle. And I, I guess we can do the foot. The foot, the foot on Gundams is really really hard for some reason it's got really weird looking geometry and you always have to get the angles right or else the stance just looks completely fucked up so it's it's a pretty challenging part of the drawing Oof, okay okay so we're on the legs layer and i guess i'll just kind of i'll just kind of sketch in some Some ankle armor. Okay, I'll 
far down does that go? Okay. I guess we can just kind of go ahead and trace this in. I don't really care. We are on the legs layer, right? Okay, I guess we'll just do a quick line right there. Yeah, foot geometry is always really crazy. It's always something I've struggled with a lot. Stylus is squeaking. Okay. Okay, so generally that's okay. And I'll I'll go in and make it look more interesting later. Okay, so what I notice about this is that hmm. So I think I can actually take all of this stuff right here and extend it down. Because the uh, the ankle section, it's a little long. But I'll... I'll... You know what, maybe we'll go ahead and fix that now. Who gives a shit? Um, okay, let's get our lasso. Okay, how are we going to do this? Actually, I might need to zoom in a bit more, get more precision on this. Sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, above the ankle. Okay. I'm going to free transform this. may not work right. Okay, control. Let's skew that a little bit. that makes sense okay you guys can kind of see what I was going for right yeah so so after we did that the yeah the ankle stuff kind of hmm, hold on I'm not sure if I should have done that. Yeah, let's let's pull that back for now. Wait. Okay. Okay, looking at looking at the comparison, I think that definitely needs to be done. Hmm. But yeah, that, that ankle section needs a lot of adjustments. Hold on. Alright, let's fix the ankle section. Okay, whoa. Okay, eraser.
Was it really up that high before? Holy crap. Okay. Okay, let's try this. <clears throat> Something feels really goofy about this now. God damn it. Yeah, sorry guys. Like, some things like just take a shitload of troubleshooting. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Okay, so this one's gonna need a... It's a lot of weird shit to it. Okay, what angle does this go at? Like that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Alright, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so I think with that adjustment, we basically uh, we brought like this thruster section down far enough where it looks better. Like, having it too short is really bizarre, but we still have enough space in the ankle to give the foot enough articulation. Okay, yeah, and I think overall in terms of proportion that works better. Okay, um... <laughs> Is it just me, or do you think this spacing for the knee, it, it could possibly be too short? Like, it might not have enough space to flex. Let me check. So, okay, so on this model kit, like, they're actually... You see, this armor comes right up to this calf section. So, on my design, like, uh, the, the two openings you see, like, uh, this is the, it's kind of, you need to compare this line with this line right here. So, this is actually more of a mature design where it kind of brings the two armor pieces closer together. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of used to, like, Katoki's designs because they, they have a lot of separation on them like that. Do we have a bigger example of that? Mm. Hold on. This large. Where is the line art for this bitch? Ooh, this is cool. What is that? <laughs> Why is this so small? <laughs> uh. Anyway, like, um, I actually have this model kit of the XS, but it's it's not so great. It's just the high grade. Um, I'm thinking about getting the master grade, but uh, some, some people aren't too happy with the master grade either. Anyway, we're, let, me, let me hunt down this line art. Where the fuck is it? It's all model kits. Come on, you pieces of shit. Ugh. We might just have to... Come on, Google, don't fail us now. Do I have any bigger versions? Oh, that, that is some fucking bullshit. Stupid Google. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, so you can see in Kentucky's designs, he has a very large amount of separation. It's like on from the, the the thigh, from the calf armor, especially on the sides, right here. Um, and the reason for that is, I guess when when the knee flexes, you don't want these armor pieces to interfere with each other, or else it's gonna destroy your mobility. So. I'm actually not a very good engineer, so I need to figure out like how we can actually have that knee flex without the armor pieces interfering. But this is an actual model kit, and it can do it. So I need to maybe I need to play with my model kits a little bit just to see like how that works exactly. Anyway, um, yeah, so maybe we don't need to mess with that right now. Okay. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna finish out the uh, the knee, and maybe we'll do the the ankle armor or the front piece of the ankle armor on this foot, and we'll we'll probably have to stop the stream like after that, because I am getting pretty tired. Yeah, it's pretty tough um, just drawing on just drawing live for other people. It's pretty mentally taxing, and yeah, it is pretty tiring. Okay. Okay, how are we going to do this? Okay, here's where we want to be very careful. Because... I think what I'll do is I'll just draw the back plane of the armor. And then I'll bring uh, the, the form of the, the armor forward. I think that should be the, the best way to handle this. like I'm screwing something up pretty bad but can't tell what yet maybe this should come up a little higher god this style of squeaking is driving me fucking nuts okay and now we gotta bring the form forward This line will make it easiest. Hmm. Is that making sense? Something that's bugging me about that, like really, really badly. I think I know why. Um, okay, let's let's try to fix this. God damn it! Yeah, the knee armor—it's it's pretty complicated. You can fuck this up really badly. It's bugging me because it's just kind of like sitting right on top of it. Like, I don't know if I want it to kind of hug it that closely. I mean, I guess in terms of engineering, it should because that would make it safer. But 
I don't know. I guess on my mobile suits, I kind of like the knee section. The, the, I kind of like the knee armor to look like really big and floofy. Hey, Strictly Mecca, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I am still working on this thing. Yeah, so I, like, like on the last stream, I started it on the 25th of January, and it is now about a month later. Um, I haven't been working on it, like, non-stop that whole time, but I, I kind of work on it, like, three hours at a time. And I kind of took a small break from the drawing while I was playing Kingdom Hearts 3, and, you know, I'm not done with that either. Okay. Okay, I think my previous plan for the knee wasn't working out very well. Uh, you know what we'll do? Um, oh, eraser. I think I might just do another layer and do the knee armor on that one. That way I don't I don't fuck things up unnecessarily. <laughs> yeah. That is such a good idea that I didn't have it until I was done fucking things up. Okay. There. <clears throat> okay, so... Sure now. Like this could be centered. Fucking stylus is squeaking, you piece of shit. Here's what we'll do. Okay, so I want my knee armor to come out that far forward. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, this is starting to make a little more sense. Not that it's good yet, because it's not. <laughs> Ugh, that looks kind of not good, but let's just keep going. I think in general geometry that makes more sense to me. So I'm just gonna leave that like that. This isn't quite right. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that like that. So let's hide that for now. Let's put in this knee joint. Okay, so in the back. I, I kind of like to make my knee joints just kind of hexagonal. <laughs> okay, and here. Hmm. 
if that's not lined up as well as I thought it was. Okay, so yeah, it's essentially a block, but yeah, you get it. Okay, so knee armor on top. I might make that bigger. Yeah, it probably needs to be bigger. Uh, let me check. Yeah, the thing is, like, uh, this this is when I was first lear learning to draw mobile suits. The, the, um, their knee armor is fucking gigantic. Yeah, how far up does that need to go? Yeah, a little bit into the thighs. Uh, yeah, so I... Probably needs to be a little bigger. Okay, this one. Okay. Here's what we'll do. I know it, it's just like three lines, and I could just redraw it, but I want to practice using more digital tools like the lasso stuff. Um, Transform. Okay, we hold down the control key so we can warp it a little bit. So that's going to bring it a little more forward. Okay. I think that should do. Okay. I'm going to deselect. Okay. Back on the brush B. Okay. Let's fix it. Get this guy up a little bit. So that's going to. Now that this is bigger, it's going to necessitate that we actually bring that forward a little bit. Okay, uh, hopefully that makes sense. We're going to erase that. That looks a little better to me. There, how's that, guys? <laughs> Looking pretty cool. <clears throat> wow, this this looks a lot cooler than I thought it would. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> okay, um, what are we gonna work on? I guess it needs some front ankle armor. I've always been really bad at that. <laughs> like, for really, really bad. Uh, okay. How does it look on this? Yeah, so it's just like a flap, and it looks like it has horrible articulation from the way I drew it. Because it does. Ugh. Dude, just looking at that makes me depressed. <laughs> okay. So let's look at some angle armor or some different mobile suits. So the angle armor on the XS is fucking weird. Um, so it has this weird, like, unconnected flap thing that is on top. 
And then it has this little panel that just like sits on its foot. Uh, that's the excess again. Okay, on, on the wing zero. Yeah, so it's kind of like this overly complicated thing with two layers. Like, so there's a really big like flap to cover the front of the foot and it's got this kind of this band structure on the top of it and you can kind of think of it as a little similar to a front skirt section it, it's kind of got the same type of geometry going on with it uh, wait that, that looks a little different what the fuck huh wait I guess this has no stickers on it right now hmm okay yeah, so, so on the high resolution wing zero, this is actually a piece with uh, a bit of articulation on it. So this section and this section can kind of move like independently. I think it's this piece that's connected um, to a joint. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I don't know. I've been kind of bad at designing like ankle armor. <clears throat> Oh, let, I guess we'll just give it a spin right now and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so this is layer one. This is on top. It's on the same layer as the knee armor. So, you know, that's fine. Just a piece like that. A piece to go out. Oh, that, that angle's not right. Okay, and... That looks unusually awful. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Yeah, but I think it'll do for now. Um, I'll go back in and make that look less horrible. But I guess when you're zoomed out, nobody cares <laughs> how bad your ankle armor is. But, um, yeah. Okay, I think that might be enough work for today. The side skirts and okay all right I think um, here's here's the game plan guys so okay we're gonna take the stream offline and what I'm gonna work on before the next stream is um, I am going to draw in the other leg and I'll probably put some like a uh, detail on the legs and the pelvis section and I suppose on on the next stream like uh, on the next stream we can start working on uh, the skirt armor like uh, the panels that go in front of the thighs and then the side skirts um, the side skirts on this Gundam are pretty interesting um, and I suppose we might be able to start work on the arms during the next stream as well. So, yeah, I got a lot of work cut out for me, but I th I'm actually pretty happy with how this is hurt turning out so far. Um, the leg is looking pretty awesome, and I'm sure it should look uh, a lot cooler once we add in the, the other leg as well. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. So, Okay, I think, um, yeah, let's go ahead and... I'd stop the stream here. I'm I'm pretty tired. I probably need to think about getting something to eat and doing my laundry and stuff. I got work tomorrow. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna keep doing this. I, I know like art streams don't get a lot of viewers, but you know I'm just doing this for fun. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the stream, go ahead and leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate that. And if you guys wanna check out future content, you can subscribe to the channel. 
So we cover g gameplay for Gundam Battle Operation 2 and Monster Hunter. I think um, I think Arch Tempered Nair Gigante should drop in a few weeks, so we're looking forward to that. Like uh, in between then, I'm I'm just trying to like maybe not work on too many Monster Hunter videos, but I'm working on the second part of the in-depth Lance guide. Uh, that's still being scripted, and yeah. So what else are we doing? Well, I guess we're gonna keep doing art live streams too, so that that should be pretty cool. Anyway, guys, um, that's going to be it for now, so we're going to close this out. Thanks for coming by to hang out, and we'll, we'll see you next time.